Hi everyone. Today we are going to take a look at NPM and packages and what they are and how you can use them. Uh, so you get a bit familiar with the concept. So if we go to our browser of choice and we search for NPM, we're going to get this lovely website. Here we have a uh, collection of different packages, small snippets of code that you can download to your project in VS Code uh, to help you um, help you code and help you do things that somebody else has already done and packaged for you. Um, why invent the wheel? Reinvent the wheel. So uh, we are going to search for time and date. I believe this is going to show you best what it is a package does. So this is the one I want you to go to actually date and time. So if you click on that, have a look before you do anything over here. So weekly downloads and when it was last published is really good to take a look at because uh, the more people download a package, the more you can trust it. And I am going to go off into a security talk tangent right now because it is something that everyone who starts with IT needs to be aware. Um, there is no way to be 100% per safe, per safe uh, when it comes to IT and the cyber attacks and tech and things like that. Um, there, there, you can get uh, hacked via your hardware, via your physical components. You can uh, download these packages that are um, super popular and still have some type of vulnerability that somebody just hasn't discovered yet. In fact, a few years ago, there was one that's really popular for Java. It's called Log4j. And I'm just going to show you a meme that's going to explain the whole thing. All modern digital infrastructure, Log4j. That one security issue that people found. It uh, broke that part of the internet for a few days. Um, so no matter how hard you try, there's always going to be a chance. Now, that does not mean you shouldn't try. You should try and you will try. And there are things that you can do to make it more and more and more and more likely that things are going to be okay, that things are not going to be exploited. And despite Log4j and me showing you that, this is still a very good indication. If a large part of the community trusts it, that means that it's been tested a lot and nobody has found a security issue yet. So, uh, as I've said before, we would need to um, do a big old setup on VS Code for us to try this uh, out in on our own computers. So we are going to actually try it out here on this thing called RunKit. So here we have some um, information about the package. So let's just talk about what a package is. A package is a teeny tiny program code packaged so that you can just write one line of code and then use it. That is what you need to know. It's, it's code package that you can use. You can have it for each individual uh, project so that not every project needs a date and time. Uh, but when you do need it, you can just import it, you can just use it, uh, and you don't have to write that code. So I'm going to uh, talk a little bit now about this part here and this part here. Now, people say that the first thing you see is what you remember. So remember that this is not how we are going to write things. I promise. Uh, the reason is that require over here is still very, very common on, on the internet to see when people do tutorials or when people uh, show things. But this is the old way of getting a package and using it in your code. Okay, this is not how we are going to write this. We are going to write this like so. Import from. That is how we write it in the future. This here is only so that the run kit, the thing here, 
uh, can run it and show it to you because it looks like um, RunKit doesn't isn't modern enough to use uh, this way of importing things. So please remember, please, this is how we're going to do it in the future. This is for you to just check it out and see how it how it will uh, work when you use it. Okay. Very important. So I'm going to copy in some code here and I urge you to pause the video and actually type it out uh, yourself because I don't know, typing it out just feels like you get into some type of muscle memory. Um, here we go. Once again, you do not need to understand this. I just want you to understand that packages is code packaged for you that you can use. So if you run this, you are going to go get the date, month, day, year, hour, minute, and second. Now, obviously, this is nothing I've done. I have simply looked around in the, in the documentation for this package, and they tell me that if you do this, you are going to get this result. That is what a package does. So what else are there packages for? There are packages for um, uh, listing all the countries in the world. There are packages for um, making uh, something on the web, like this button, draggable so that when I grab it, I can drag it over here and let it go and it's going to stay there. Uh, otherwise, you would have to code that yourself. Um, there are so many different packages and this is just one. So this one, what it does is that it has code uh, to get and show the date for me. And when I write according to how they want me to write, and that is said within this documentation, this description. So when I do that and I run, the package does the work for me. If you feel brave, you can even try to, uh, for example, copy this out instead and see how that looks. So under format date, this area right here, about this way through, you can try out these different things just to see how you can uh, uh, play with it. Um, don't worry if it's confusing everything is going to be confusing in the beginning and um, baby steps, try it out and just um, see if you can understand it. And if you can't understand it yet, trust that you will, because this is all going to be, uh, we're all going to go through all of this uh, later on in, in the uh, fall semester. So have fun and thank you so much and bye.